What's up everybody? This is Scott with Titans of CNC and I've got more for you today on the Studer S41 from United Grinding. You guys have seen some really cool applications when we're grinding with aluminum oxide wheels. Well today we're going to be grinding with a diamond metal bonded wheel and to achieve that we're going to use Studer wire dress EDM. That's right this machine has a wire EDM inside of it and we're going to use it to dress the metal bonded wheel. So let me show you how the EDM works inside this machine. All right guys, so this is our Studer wire dress system and it's mounted on the back of our work head. That's so we can move it in the Z and get to our wheel to be able to dress it. If you look really close, you can actually see the wire and it's suspended across this ceramic disc. That is the wire that's gonna be creating our electrical discharge to dress our metal bonded diamond wheel. The wire is not stationary. It's constantly being fed over the top of this piece of ceramic to give us new wire. Typically with a regular EDM, your machine is completely submerged with water. Well, we're not gonna do that in this machine. What it does is floods the entire discharge zone with coolant and that's gonna contain the spark. I'm gonna take this apart for you so you can see how the wire moves through this system. We have a spool of wire that's located back here. It's gonna run through a series of tubes and then through this path where these drivers are gonna push the wire through across our ceramic guide disc. Once it discharges, it's gonna continue to run through the system and be discarded through this white tube to the cutter, which chops the wire into thousands of tiny pieces. Now that we understand how this works, let's go ahead and fire it up. You see that spark? There's actually no contact between the wire and the wheel. That's just the arc creating tiny explosions on the surface of that wheel that's refreshing the diamonds and giving us new cutting edges. But now that we got our grinding wheel dressed and ready to go, I got my material. I got a solid three quarter inch tungsten carbide blank. We're gonna turn this into an end mill for a later application. It's gonna give us a good idea on how peel grinding is done. Let's get to it. So now I have my material in the machine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and touch off to set my Z zero and then we're just gonna run the program. So now that we're cutting solid carbide, we're gonna have to use different speeds and feeds. Now, on the aluminum oxide wheels that we've been using, the last part we did was running at about 7,000 SFM, which is really fast. But now since we're cutting solid carbide with a diamond wheel, we're gonna be running this 16 inch wheel at around 6,000 RPM, which is an equivalent of 25 and a half thousand SFM. Oh man, that's perfect. All right, so we got our solid carbide blank. It's got the beautiful finish on this profile. We're actually gonna use this solid carbide blank on a later application. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for when we use this again. Like and subscribe, make sure you stick around. If you guys have any questions about the Studer wire dress system or appeal grinding in general, go ahead and drop their questions down below. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.